We did the ads. What? Oh, yeah, let's do this fucking elder dude. This was really cool. It touched me. We'll talk about good times and bad times. This is a good segue into this. We're bringing it. We're putting an elder here. Um, here, I got an email through my uh, um, producer on the website. It's a log email. I'm going to try to shorten it up for you guys. But uh, this really, this really touched me, dude. Uh, hey, Chris, so I have a different request for you. Uh, the title is, subject is my brother. Hey, Chris, so I have a different request for you and the Congratulations podcast. To get right to it, I'm coming to you to humbly request that my brother be given the honor of becoming an elder. Now, b- before I even go on here, let me stop right here. So many people are like, am I an elder yet? D- do I get to be an elder? That's That takes you a few steps back from becoming an elder, Okay. If you're asking to become an elder, that's like you want it too bad. It's like the fucking karate guy. That's like, oh, how, what do I have to do to become a black belt? You're in the wrong state of mind, young grasshopper. If you have both your eyes on the prize, then you're not using one of your eyes for the journey. Now, am I a fucking, I'm practically Confucius, how I said that. And that makes me just like him. Because I came up with a cool quote that I just said. But dude, I actually think I heard that. So I'm not even that smart. But uh, this guy is humbly asking for his brother to become an elder. Which he's putting himself himself aside and trying to have his brother become an elder. So when I listen to that, when I read that, I go, in my head I go, I'm listening, right? Because at first, hey, Chris, so I have a different request for you. I go, I've heard it all. This is me. Hey, Chris, so I have a different request for you. I've heard it all. That's me. To get right to you, I'm coming to you to humbly request, yeah, sure, bro, here comes a joke. That's me. That my brother be given the honor of becoming an elder. And then that's me going, I'm listening. I'm like that Weebay meme. Oh. If I could explain why, I believe that you will understand that my intentions are pure and true. I'm listening. He's talking like he's in a cult. I like that. As you have a similar relationship with your brother that is based on your complete admiration for each other, I'm listening. I love my brother. I love my brother as much as Gerard Butt Butt loves Morgan Free Free in the fucking Angel Has Fallen series. Um, my brother Justin Day is an Air Force Special Tactics Airman. I'm listening because why? Because why? Because he's protecting me literally with the 23rd STS. Do I know what it means? No, because I'm I'm really dumb. But maybe some of you out there do. He was deployed to an undisclosed valley in northeastern Afghanistan in April of 2018 where he was attached to a Green Beret unit. Okay. Say he's a tough guy. Anytime I hear Green Beret, I think, okay, if I ever got in a fight with that guy, he would would murder me. They were tasked to clear the valley of enemy combatants from the valley and into Pakistan. Approximately a week before he was going to be sent back home, Justin stepped on an IED, which caused him to lose some fingers. His leg above the knee, but also he had lost so much blood that he had flatlined for 90 seconds, which is, I mean, what do you even say about that? He survived. Thank God. But recovery was a horribly difficult process for him physically, but most importantly, mentally. PTSD is a disgusting thing to see in someone you love, especially one that I spent my entire childhood with loving and admiring. I can't fucking imagine, man. Uh, this is my thank you to you and the entire congratulations congratulations podcast. Then he says some stuff about me that I'll skip because that just seems like I'm humble bragging. Uh, oh, this is cool. He introduced you to his spec ops team. And with that, you have changed your vocabulary completely. I'm humbled here. Thank you. Uh, oh, he's trying to figure out des- a design for a congratulations tattoo. Uh... Please know, I I know, uh, yeah, that's too much nice stuff for me. Um, That's great, man. This is so, you know, it's bittersweet. 
Uh, I read it all. Very, uh, the guy says, look, I love this. He says, um, but mostly I can't think of a better Christmas gift for him than you granting him an elder. Uh, I understand if not, because I know how you have chosen elders in the past and they were all deserving. Thank you for reading all of this. I know it's long as shit. What a good guy, man. What a good guy. What a good way to come at someone too. There's no rules, but this guy is a sweetheart. And because of this beautiful letter and because of how selfless you are, uh, I'm going to make your your brother, your hero, your hero brother, uh, an elder. And um, I'm going to send you one too, dude, because you didn't ask for it. Uh, so you guys are both elders, and you can share that together. And thank you for listening. Thank you for your service to Justin Day. And Braden Day, thank you for writing me this message. Uh, and shout out to you and your team out there too, uh, your Spec Ops team. That's just the sweetest, man. And sorry you lost your leg, a little bit of your, or a lot of your leg and your fingers. Uh, but just remember that inside the basement, in your laundry room, in your secret compartment, in your laundry room, into that fucking candle lit seance that, you know, life rips anyway. Uh, I fucking, I love what you do for this country, and that's amazing. And Brayden, it sounds like you're a great family, man. You you, you guys, both of you guys, uh, you, yeah, that's that's so cool. So we'll be sending you your, your, your pins and your certificates. Uh, Wanfire will be doing it. And thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, 